Tonight, bank customers are sending out a warning after a number of suspicious transactions. While the customers say they fear they've been hacked, their bank says it could be much simpler. Walter Smith Randolph has information on how to protect yourself. I felt like the rest of Cincinnati needs to hear about it. Russell Brock is putting out a warning after someone took $1,000 out of his bank account. And then we started looking at the, the statement and it come up you know, these different uh, ATM withdrawals. Brock's account shows two $500 withdrawals 1,000 miles away in Wyoming. So he went to his bank, Park National, and that's when he realized he wasn't the only victim. It was another couple there that had the same problem. The teller was on the phone with another individual with the same problem. And it was amazing because they were all tied to the same state with the exact same amount, you know, from the ATM fees to the amounts they were drawing. Park National officials confirm up to 25 customers in the Cincinnati area fell victim to the fraudulent activity. But it doesn't stop there. Some Huntington Bank customers experienced a similar issue this week. To me, it's becoming something that somebody needs to get a hold of. I mean, I don't know if it's the tech companies, the IT guys. I'm certainly not a, a, a computer guy to be able to tell them, you know, what precautions to take. Both banks say there hasn't been any big data breaches, but they do say you should take some extra steps to protect yourself from credit card skimming. The first step, make sure the card scanner hasn't been tampered with. The second tip, make sure you cover the keypad when you put in your PIN number. And the last thing is to always be vigilant. Don't be afraid to look over your shoulder. Watch your bank account. Keep an eye on your bank account. Keep an eye on your balances and your surroundings. Walter Smith Randolph, Local 12 News. Brock was able to get his money back through Park National's zero liability policy.